Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a fading text effect real quick and real simple. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I have on my channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So creating a fading text effect is quite handy. For example, if you have maybe coming up on screen, chapter one, whatever your chapter's called, or you just want to have some fading text effect fade in, fade out. So at the moment I have a scene and I have some text here and all I've done with this text is just basically change the color to white, increase the size and add in a font. So there's nothing particularly special about how this text looks. If we press play, go to the game view, we'll see that it just looks as you would expect like that. Nothing fancy at all. So to make it fade is a lot simpler than you would think. So if we go to animation, and if you don't have this animation tab, you can click on the menu button here, click on add tab and click on animation. And if we click create, we can call this whatever we want. So we'll call it fade in. In fact, I'll call it in. There we go, fade in. And we just press the record button and set the first keyframe, which is zero. And that first keyframe would mean alpha right here is zero. So all we've done is click the color right here and change this alpha to zero. The text will then disappear. Click the X on there, and then you have to determine how long you want your text to fade. So if we want it to fade in over a period of two seconds, because we're in 60 frames a second, we'd set this to 120. Then on the 120th frame, we would set the color, or specifically the alpha, back to 55. That will make the text fade onto the screen. So for this to only happen once, we need to press the record button once again, go back to our project view, click on the fade in animation that we've just created and untick loop time. For extra effects, what we're going to do is by default, have the color of this actual text set as zero. Now it doesn't matter too much, but it's probably always wise to have your first keyframe set to what it should actually be and have the text itself set to that first keyframe. So they both should match. In this case, the first keyframe was the alpha zero. So by default, we're going to have it as zero as well. So if we press play now, we should see this text fade in. There we go. Now you could go one step further and have it fade out after a certain amount of time as well. I'm actually going to change this to say, welcome to Jimmy Town. I don't know, something random, I guess. So let's now modify this text to fade out after a couple of seconds as well. And it can all be done in the same animation. So if we go back to our animation, press record again, and let's have this display on screen for, let's say, three seconds before it fades out again. So all we would do is we'll go to the 300th frame because we're having this display as three seconds. So it fades in for two, it displays fully for three, and then fades out for two. So we go 180 frames from the 120th, which is 300. And at that point, what we do is we need to set it to any value and then set it back to 255. What that does is it creates a section right here where no change is ever made to that alpha, which means it will always stay the same. The animation will continue, but that fading won't occur until we say so. So now we want to fade it out over two seconds. So now we go to frame 420 and then set the alpha back down to zero and stop the recording and then press play. So we should see it fade in Stay for three seconds, then fade out. And there we go. And that is how we can create text fading effects. Quick, easy, simple, and it, it's absolutely, it, I can't believe how simple it is to actually make text fade like that. And it's actually a real neat little effect that you can use in pretty much any game. So guys, I hope that's been useful. Uh, please check out more content on my channel because there is plenty more for you to learn and plenty more for you to see. Guys, thank you very much for watching.